Hello YouTube, how you doing? How you doing? It's Kevin from Keith, Kevin, Ken. Happy New Year! Ah, it's only a couple of hours. <laughs> Actually, it's only a couple of hours earlier <laughs> than New Year's. <laughs> it's a quarter to nine. Um, when I record this, I have the Ohio State game uh, muted. And we're going through this. I got up so early this morning. I, It was like I was going to work. I didn't sleep in or anything. I had all this energy. I got up. I uh, My delivery for Blue Apron, instead of Sunday, since that's a holiday, they delivered it early. So I was, I was sitting around going, man, I need to cook dinner. And it was super early in the morning still. So I went in. I cook pork chops. Uh, by the way, I'm not vegetarian. Yeah, I smoke cigars, not vegetarian, and I collect knives. See, you're learning all kinds of stuff about me. Anyway, <laughs> I did that early. Um, I was just having a ball. I was posting to Instagram. I was doing all kinds of things. And then uh, the old man in me hit. I went in my room. I said, oh, I'm going to watch a little YouTube. And then, you know, four hours later, I was waking up. <laughs> but Happy New Year. Man, I am so happy I get a chance to talk to you guys. Is one of the last things I do in 2016 because it's been an epic year in 2016. I started doing this daily pocket dump deconstruction this year. And we met. And I'd like to say thank you to all of you. I really appreciate your support, I really do. And I'm wishing all of you, just you and yours, just the best 2017 and beyond. I really do mean that. Uh, as sincere as a man could be to another man. <laughs> I do. I really, I hope you guys are well and have some of the best times of your life in both your career and especially in your personal life. Now let's talk about the pocket dump deconstruction. Yeah, I'm watching the football game, and uh, depending on what the scores are, I'm going to go drinking with some friends <laughs> at their house, though. Uh, I'm an old guy, so <laughs> me dealing with a lot of drunk people at night doesn't make me feel happy. Um, but anyway, we're going to have some fun, so I picked out what I want to carry. I did go downstairs today. Even though Blue Apron isn't delivered on Sunday, so there won't be tomorrow the big knife that I take down to the mailroom. But I did go to the mailroom today to get some Amazon stuff, and uh, I took a special knife. Actually, I took two knives, and we'll talk about that as well. And then, right before I get doing this, I know I'm chatting more and more before I do it. You guys know it's digital. Fast forward through it. But I bought three knives. <laughs> all of you know the one knife that I bought because everyone has been on YouTube talking about the Para 3, even though they weren't selling them. <laughs> Blade HQ <laughs> and everyone else. They got some kind of, I don't know, advanced copy or whatever. But I will have my Para 3. I did buy it. It should be coming in. Oh, my fingers are crossed. They mailed it today, Saturday. I'm hoping Tuesday or Wednesday. And then one of you, and I'll give them a shout out when the knife comes. I asked you guys, what Z D, what uh, zero tolerance knife should I try? I'm going to try something new. Someone made a recommendation. I checked it out on YouTube and everything, and oh, it was perfect. You know me, and you know who I'm talking about. You know me, perfect size, perfect everything. I bought two of them. <laughs> one carbon fiber and one titanium. Which one do you think was recommended? I should have that around Wednesday too, I hope. Fingers crossed. My very, I'm, a, I'm a zero tolerance virgin, so that's my very first zero tolerance. And I haven't played with it yet, but, oh, I think he picked the right one for me. So we'll talk about that as well. Hey, so... Para 3, we made it before New Year's, even though I won't get it until New Year's. So 
Spyderco slipped it in right before the end of the year. Um, and then zero tolerance is going to start. I don't know if I'm going to collect a bunch of zero tolerances, but at least I'm going to have a new knife for 2017. I feel good about that. So now let's do the pocket dump deconstruction. Thank you for your suggestions and everything. Guess which one in the comments that um, was suggested for me. Um, so let's talk about the carry, finally. <laughs> um, it's it's a tag day. It's the rough and tumble day. Um, first day of a three-day weekend. Oh, it's so wonderful. Oh, Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> two three-day weekends. <laughs> that means two Monday-less work days, which is just wonderful. That's the tag watch, and I'm celebrating. I got up with so much energy because I was so excited about this three-day weekend. Sometimes three-day weekends come and go, and I go, oh, whatever. But this is, of course, we're going into a new year. And uh, I know some of you might have had some uh, trials and tribulations in this year. And man, that's life. Man, it's life. You learn so much from that. And everyone goes through them. But this is to all of you guys. Thank you for your support and for a very good season. This is one of my most expensive <laughs> cigars. I do have a handful and a half of them in my humidor. I want to grab them before they, you know, all the people with real money grab boxes of them to stash away. This is a um, Cohiba limited edition 2014. Oh, it's just perfect. That's how I'm celebrating. And as I told my friends, hey, my cigar. <laughs> Usually I sit silently <laughs> thinking about me with this cigar, but um, I'm going to be sitting with friends. I said, you pick yours. Usually we, we share a lot of cigars and we all decided we're just going to have our favorite cigars. And phew, has to be blue. It was either going to be single malt or I'm going to bring out the blue stuff. And I did. Um, blue scotch. This is uh, one of my Finn Coach Wallets. The coin is one of my favorites. It came in a pair. Um, it, it, it looks like one of those Indian had uh, silver rounds, right? Um, I love silver rounds. You guys know me. I don't, I don't hate on anything. I love seeing everyone's uh, collections of silver. Uh, yeah, I troll YouTube to see all of that stuff too. Uh, I usually collect from mints pretty much. And so this one actually is a U.S. Mint piece. I've, I've carried it before. Um, it, it's a U.S. Mint coin from 2001. It is Indian head on the other side. It has the buffalo. It's like the Indian head nickel. Um, it's a one-ounce coin. Uh, it came in two sets, uh, the standard and the proof set. Uh, proof coin. This is the proof coin. And it was a uh, celebration of Smithsonian, of the Smithsonian. But what a wonderful coin. What a wonderful design. Uh, I think the Indian head nickel is one of the best coins ever. Ah. Decided on the blue word pad. I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube and a lot of people talking about how they're going to journal and everything. And I've been deciding, I've been thinking about doing that. Um, but man, it just feels like more work. I actually did it and it's for my kids. I have a, uh, <laughs> I told you guys, I, I was, I was so, so into coach. I have like this coach lawyer bag full of all of my daytimer. I was a big daytimer guy when I was working and then from working where I was working, then going on consulting. And when I went on consulting, it was right after separation and divorce. But I had that and a journal, but my journal was just keeping track of costs or what I had to do or whatever. And so I literally have, which I am so happy I have, seven and a half years while I consulted of every single day, all the 
minutia of thinking and stuff that I went through every day in the journals and I just keep it all for my kids. I've looked at it. I started saying, oh, I'm going to organize this a little and almost threw up. I traveled and ran so much when I was young. <laughs> it was just too much for me, but it's good for the kids. Now I understand why people talk about uh, doing, you know, these daily vlogs on the channel and stuff, these young kids talking about it's great because, I mean, it hasn't been great on a lot of relationships, <laughs> uh, but it is great because they have a record of so many things. So, um, I'm old, so it's written down. My kids will have to read. <laughs> um, anyway, that is one reason I do this as well. It, it kind of has a record of my collection. Um, for my kids, my grandkids. Also, um, who knows what the future brings? You know, when I start thinking about Sportsmobile or something, or when I really radically, who knows? I might get those two <laughs> zero tolerance knives and go, I'm getting rid of all my knives, all my spotticles and stuff, and just going zero <laughs> tolerance. Um, oh, I'll talk more about it when I get them. I'm excited. Thank you very much, and I'll shout you out properly uh, when I show the knives. Uh, you, I forgot I had asked, and you introduced something new, and I get excited. That collector part of me got excited about the knives. Um, this is the roadie. This is going to be my keychain knife. I want a little bit of color in my carry. Actually, I picked this when I was uh, looking at the knife that got away before I picked this to carry. And so, um, spoiler, the knife that got away is blue. <laughs> so I, I picked my blue roadie. Roadies come in five colors, blue, red, orange, uh, gray, and black. In 2013, the FAA was considering allowing knives back on U.S. airplanes, commercial flights. And so the knife industry, they gave the knife industry the specs. Spydeco took those specs and came up with the roadie. Of course, the FAA said, no, nah, crazy people with knives, we're going to keep knives out of this. That's their opinion. Don't give me grief. I know. Actually, I was going to say, hey, I'm a knife person. I know they're not crazy. Then I thought, I guess I am a little crazy. Um, anyway, <laughs> no, they did it, obviously, um, because they just didn't want knives on for whatever reason. But Spydeco came up with the roadie and said, man, I like this thing. It couldn't be a locking knife. Well, that's great for the international market. Had to be a two-hand opener. That's great for the international market. Um, so it ha it is a two-hand opener. Uh, the Spidey hole is just, you know, just the brand. And instead of a nail neck, what they did was they put these little dents <laughs> carved out um, so you pinch and open. I really like this. FRN scales, smooth FRN scales. You can feel the spider, though. <laughs> so it gives you a little traction. Even on this little knife, jimping right there, jimping right here, like Spyderco always has with their slip joints. Um, I also like the fact that they have the half stop on this, which is really good. Uh, good slip joints have that half, half step going up and down. Just gives you a little hesitation before you chop off your fingers. That is my <laughs> blue keychain knife. Ah, oh, the medium knife, you know. I've just been flipping knives all day, all week. And you guys know, um, I've been kind of, a lot of the knives that got away have been flippers. I've just been flipping. <laughs> oh, mentally and, and with my knives a lot. And this, you know, I'm a big, you guys know, I'm a big Jason Browse, Browse Blades fan. And, you know, <laughs> and I I love his more expensive when he started doing a lot of mid-techs. 
Um, he's smart, and, and I love what he was doing. He he introduced. Uh, he he introduced the bionic, and this was his first attempt to get everyone to buy. You know, his knives were, you know, four hundred to four fifty kind of knives, four hundred to five hundred and fifty kind of knives, and worth every penny. That's why I bought them all, <laughs> multiples. Um, but he wanted to, instead of that limited mid tech, he wanted to. Uh, expand so he did a bionic the first bionic was a flipper and I have that one should have brought it out to show you I don't know why I didn't just like this aluminum it was aluminum and then it flipped great and then he decided to do the bionic auto this was my very first automatic knife ever I do have a video on um, my mid tech, I mean my mid tech, my uh, microtech automatics. Go check it out. I love automatics now, but this was my very first inexpensive knife, real nice knife. I, I think I spent like 150 for it. I know it's all relative inexpensive. That's why, if you notice, most people don't talk about the cost of knives in their videos because no matter what price point you talk about. Every, you know, there's someone who says, that's too expensive, you can get cheaper. Yes, you can. You really can. And good cheaper. You can get cheaper spiticles. You can get, you know, cheaper any knives. I get it. I, I'm just saying for me, relative to my collection, it's it's a very good price knife. And it was a very nice auto. So I really like it. Three inch blade, D2 satin blade. And you guys know that three inch mark really made me happy oh just a real nice automatic i just wanted an automatic um and then i was gonna go fancy smancy because you know we show off our cigar hey we're men <laughs> we show off cigars the booze we have you know the knives or whatever uh watches or whatever but today i'm just feeling um simple but i would like that flipper man i like that flipper and then i was going with another knife another knife that was a spydeco and decided instead to bring out my strider i haven't done a strider in a while and i really like the sng cc concealed carry concealed carry means it has these smooth g10 smooth in the pocket the 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 um titanium on the lock side is smooth is real just concealed carry real nice this is that ugly coyote brown <laughs> okay okay i don't know why does every i i have been unaware of coyote brown until i started collecting knives and looking at knives and everyone i mean is there a big discount to, for knife makers if they do something coyote brown um but anyway i just i like striders i really do um nice jimping not too crazy this has the tiger stripe um on the blade I always talk about I don't like coating on blades, but probably a third of my entire knife collection has them. And some of them I'm okay with. I like this. Some of them I go gaga over, and some of them I always say, I don't like it. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't explain me. I wish I could. Um, 3.5 inch blade, real light really light s30 v steel that's the strider sng i just wanted a smaller carry and i wanted to put a strider in my pocket today that was after i decided not to carry the knife that got away we'll talk about that after i tell you real quick you guys know <sighs> thumb it up go crazy you guys have been so great man let's let's keep doing that going into 2017 in 2017, I just want our community to grow. You know what? If it grows 10 more, I'm happy. 
<laughs> if it grows one more, I'm happy. If you're new and you weren't here last month, thank you for joining. Uh, and I hope that all of you guys just have a great, great life. And you start thinking about yourselves and learning how to do that. Thumb it up, share it, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, I, I have already posted the picture on Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken. But you know what? This ain't Instagram. Ooh, no, it's the Keith Kevin Ken YouTube channel. And here we talk about the knife that got away. The choice that I had on the desk ready to go until I didn't. <laughs> This is a Spydeco knife that came in last year. I'm talking about 2015 that you don't see a lot of and people don't talk a lot about it. I don't carry it a lot. Usually you see it on the knife that got away because every time I come across it, I pick it out of the case. And I go, wow, I love this thing. It's all titanium with the ti titanium uh, back as well. Um, Man, oh man. Mike Draper and his wife are knife makers as well as jewelry makers. Teamed up with Spydeco with this design. And um, it's just, I think what makes this knife is how simple and how smooth and wonderful it is. Um, the scales, it, it's, a, it's a liner lock and I'm happy it is. Because I, I wouldn't want the design of the scales to be interrupted, you know, where you had to have a big lock. I'm not a huge liner lock fan, but sometimes I get it. This is a spider web, by the way. Get it? Get it? Get it? <laughs> Someone was great. Because I do. There are some words that when I haven't written it down or something, sometimes you'll see me pause because my old mind blanks. And whenever I talk about um, anodized um, uh, colors on on things, I go iodized or whatever. <laughs> so good catch. You know what? That criticism, why I like the criticism is he did it in such a wonderful way. It wasn't nasty. He just said, I crack up when you do that. So, um, yeah, I, I screw up a lot of times. <laughs> I figured early on that if I was ever going to start doing YouTube and if I was ever going to show the knives or do anything on YouTube and I was going to do it on a consistent basis, I'd have to do some trade-offs. For instance, I have lights and we tweak some things and I'm trying some new things every now and then, but I have a setup that works where, you know, you're groggy, you're upset, you got to go to work but I can share with you guys the knives and then get dressed and enter that rat race. Um, the other thing is I don't script a lot of things. I do some bullet points um, because if I didn't, I wouldn't remember anything. I'd go, this is kind of, I think it's a fork. It's a great fork that I have. So, so I do some of that, but uh, I appreciate I appreciated the way that he came about it, and he is so right. Sometimes, you know, I know that on YouTube you can do the sliding card. I will at some point have time to do all of that stuff so I don't keep telling you. You know, I have a video on this. I have a video on that. Part of me is old school wanting to just tell you guys instead of doing all of the other tricks. The other thing is the more other tricks, I have all the editing software and all of that, the less certain I'm going to be that I'm going to turn this out. I don't want it to turn into a job. So I apologize. I see some great videos, a lot of them, 90% of them better than me. Uh, I just right now don't have the time. But I will. When I get my sports mobile, whoo, you just watch out. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I hope you guys forgive me for that and understand it. I want to have a connection with you guys. And I know that if I start threading, you know, fretting about another hour, hour and a half in my post-production that I will just stop doing it. So I don't want to stop doing this. I want to keep going and I want to do it every single day for as long as you guys want to watch them. Anyway, enough of that. Anodized uh, blue. Um, 
it's not only it's not only the web which is visually nice the textures are great as well this right here has this pebbly kind of texture you can feel the web as well it's just a real nice simple and the clip just suck uh, it doesn't suck it's a great carrying clip it just i mean sometimes you have to wonder and other people have mentioned it. People who have huge custom knives and stuff. Sometimes you have to wonder. And we do this in the office too. I mean, is that the intern's job clips? Because sometimes, I, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just wonder. Uh, <laughs> I do. I do. Um, anyway, uh, I really like the Draper. But it's a big knife uh, for me. For me. 3.7 inches. VG10, you guys say, well, if it's a big knife, why did you buy it? Because I like knives. I appreciate them. I do. Even if I'm not carrying them every day, I really appreciate this. VG10 steel, 3.7 inches. That's the knife that got away. So I did go downstairs today to get my Amazon.com, my Amazon.com, my Amazon packages uh, when I had all that energy in the morning before I got knocked out. Didn't drink either. Just water knocked me out. <laughs> and I thought, hey, it's New Year's Eve. So I went down and the front desk said, oh, you know, the guy's waiting. I go, I know. And I said, you should come in when you're not busy too. I brought a special knife for you too. And the young lady said, oh yeah, for real. This is the knife that I brought. Ooh, smooth moves on the Bali, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> of course, Spartaco got in trouble for his Bali songs in the U.S. and his and their automatic. Oh shoot! <laughs> Can you imagine? I opened this the slowest possible way and I dropped it. <laughs> That's old man stuff. I love Bali songs. Every time I see a Browse Blades Bali, I think about buying it. And then I go, like you just saw, I can't even open this. Actually, I'm a little bit better than that. I'm reaching around a tripod. That's why sometimes you see me point slow or whatever. That's not arthritis. It's because I'm reaching around a tripod. Uh, I love this. I wanted this so much and finally found one in perfect condition um eric glasser the son of the founder um created it it is the spidey fly spider fly 4.1 inches vg 10 steel <laughs> in the handle this right here that's the branding spider holes right there Titanium handles, skeletonized, it's light, has that little clip, paper clip. The guys went gaga. Of course, there's always someone who thinks they can do... Now, I was growing up, we call them butterfly knives. Um, and, you know, everyone wanted to... We saw all those kung fu movies, <laughs> so everyone wanted to learn how to do it. Um... I, I am intrigued. I love seeing when people do that. That's art. When I see um, kids, men, women, man, there's a woman who's great, a couple of them. I just love seeing them play with that. Uh, I do think it's art <laughs> because, and I've seen people get stabbed by doing it too, but hey, no blood, you know. <laughs> Uh, but they went crazy on this. I really love this. This is the Spyderco Spider Fly 4.1 inches VG10 steel. If you can find one, grab it. This was in great, a great, great, great condition. <laughs> and then <laughs> the receptionist at the front desk came and, you know, they're like cutting box, stabbing boxes with this thing. They're just having fun. We're talking, talking stuff. She comes in. And she says, so where's my knife? <laughs> and they busted out laughing. And she loved it. Loved it. And you know what? I loved when I finally had a chance to find one. 
This right here is the small fry. You know Spotico. Let's get a different variation. And most of the variations from the start have been big, small version. Big version, small version. And this is the smaller version. I love it, man. I do. Um, look at it. <laughs> Stainless steel um, liners, all skeletonized. It has G10 on top of it. This is a three inch blade and it's rocking 154 CM steel. 154 CM steel. Um, these things really are nice. Uh, <laughs> I I just love it. I, I love the Bali song. No, I can't do any of the fancy stuff. They lock down here. They come open when you press them. God, what a what a nice pair of knives, huh? Just a nice pair of knives. No, I'm not fancy, but if I'm carrying one of those, eh, don't approach me. <laughs> Two halves and I'm I'm open. That's the ballad song of for all, all us old folks, butterfly knives from Spyderco. It's the Spyderco, it's the Spyderco Spider Fly and the Small Fry. And that was the mailroom knives for today. Hey, you guys, I know I rambled so long, especially in the front and in the back and throughout. I guess I didn't want to let you guys go for 2016, but I guess I have to. I have to let you fly into 2017. Hey, you guys, Happy New Year. Keep those pockets full. See you on the other side. Goodbye.